just before we get into today's video, I'm going to let you in on a little something. For those of you who don't know, if you do colon colon YouTube, it'll bring up the YouTube voting page. When my videos are uploaded, they'll be displayed here. There will be two buttons on my video. One will say watch, one will say collect. So when you click the watch button, it'll obviously bring you to my video. If you come in your in-game name, you can come back to Genesis and hit the collect button and you'll receive a free voting goodie bag. But now that that's out of the way, let's get into today's gains. Well, after doing a few more globals, we got four more fantastic keys. We actually got two seismic goodie bags. We'll open those up in a second. But of course, from our keys, we're going to get uh, okay, two Oblivion goodie bags and Eye of the Warrior, which we already have. So choosing from the Oblivion goodie bag first, we're going to get a Shadow Lord goodie bag. And from our second one, we get a Researches key. From the Shadow Lord goodie bag, we're going to get an Archer's Ring of Beaud. From our first Seismic box, we're going to get five Godly keys. And from the second one, we're going to get ourselves a Platinum Casket. And from our five godly keys, we're going to land ourselves, looks like a Helion key, a magic die, two more fantastic keys, a drop rate die, and a bronze $2 casket. And of course, our lovely fantastic keys are going to land us three heavy cash boxes. Well, we're currently spending our lovely bronze casket only to receive Zyotic Chaps. And for our lovely platinum casket, we're going to be landing ourselves... Some Shadow Lord Plate Legs. It's interesting. Well, it's actually not too bad. Those Shadow Lord Plate Legs are actually look to be tier 5. That's going to be a big upgrade from our tier 2. Alright, so over here at Raid Isles, we're actually able to use our Research Set, our Heliod Key. And from our Resurgence, we're going to grab ourselves uh, a PVM Mystery Box. Uh, these stones, not sure what they are. And a 1 hour Instance Token. And from our Rage 2 Key, which is our Helion Key. Hopefully we get something really nice. And we just get 17 Genesis coins. And why not let's get ourselves a Slayer task. That task is going to be 58 Patricks. Well, we got ourselves two more fantastic keys. You already know the routine. We got a Divine and a Shadow Lord goodie bag. And from our lovely goodie bag, we're going to grab ourselves a Sears Ring imbued. Well, that wasn't that long of a grind. We just got ourselves a 20% drop rate orb on kill 122. Oh, it's a brand new day. <clears throat> we just left ourselves here at the AFK tree when we got off last night. And we're met with a couple of mystery boxes. We got ourselves two activity mystery boxes. We got ourselves a beginner, a PVM, and a Slayer mystery box. I know these two mystery boxes here are kind of garbage, but these two here are what I'm most interested in. The last global boss we did before we went to sleep, we ended up getting an old voting casket, or it might have been a vote boss. I believe it was, but it might not have been an actual global. But... Let's, uh, let's pop them open and see if we get anything interesting. Well, sadly, when it comes to the Slayer Mystery Box, it doesn't look like anything too interesting that I might want. And we got ourselves a Golden Whip. So it looks like here, when it comes to our is the Activity Mystery Boxes, the thing I'm looking for here it definitely looks to be the Trio Wings. Everything else is kind of mediocre. But for box number one, we're going to get ourselves, looks to be some Genesis Coins. And box number two, it would be nice if we get the trio wings, but I don't think that's going to be the case. And we're going to get two more coins. For those of you who don't know, here at the AFK zone, if you come over here to Mr. Pete, if you the AFK shop, you just have a few goodies here. Uh, we do have almost 18,000 chippings. Uh, ideally, what I would like to get from here is obviously the AFK hatchet. Probably nets us in more AFK points. Uh, other than that, uh, maybe the elite AFK scroll because it'll unlock us a second AFK shop. Oh, there's also trio wing stuff in here too. I didn't actually know that. But yeah, that's kind of the idea. I already have the pet rare Pete. Uh, even a $10 bond might be interesting. But main goal is AFK hatchet. And then probably a close second on the AFK scroll. Maybe a quiver. Maybe bring a corruption. Not really sure yet. And from our lucky key, we're going to get ourselves Armadillo Chain Skirt. Not very good. Well, I just realized I uh, opened up my bank just to deposit some stuff when we're caught here with 27 skilling boxes. Not sure what we can get from... Okay, so it's just going to be a 
bunch of materials for leveling skills. Thought it'd be like a spin like everything else. It's mana rays. Okay, so it's just like gems, herbs, secondaries, so on and so forth. Nothing really too interesting is what I thought. But we're going to go throw our... Uh, I think we have a Patrick Slayer task, so that's going to be the plan for right now. You know, I completely forgot, but we're actually going to come here to the damage zone. We got to kill the Incredibles to get ourselves the damage orb. And then we move on to, I believe, over here. We get the Rango, which I would assume is range. And we have... Who's over here? Boo for the mage orbs, and then we'll enter the portal to get the crystals. And after two more, we're gonna open ourselves and find heavy cash box and Virtus Ice. Well, there we have it. 499 KC. We just got ourselves a rage crystal. Well, we just came over to Boo's. And uh we just got the magic crystals. 82 KC. Well, we're in the second DPS zone area, but uh we now have to kill these guys to get the shards to upgrade. If you don't know, we gotta come over here to the forge. Once we get these shards, we can just open it up here. You can see we can upgrade the 2% to a 4%. It's only gonna cost 25 Genesis coins and two melee shards. Uh, we can also upgrade it to a 6% for three more shards on top of that. So we're gonna need five shards in total. It's definitely gonna take a little bit of time, but I think we're just gonna get up to Maybe we'll do the melee and the magic as I'm not using range at the minute. That might be the plan. And I was just looking here and we can actually upgrade our demonic torva. So let's do that actually. And here we go. So if we forge this. Oh, there we go. We now have the insidious full helmet. And it looks like we just got level 36 forging. You know, while we're here, we're actually going to upgrade the plate body as well because it is a 100% chance of success rate. There we go, it's going to get us 44 forging, which doesn't seem to unlock as much besides the Shadow Lord. Well, I'm after doing a couple of globals, just saving up the loot to whatnot. We just voted as well. We got two scrolls of voting for August. I'm not really sure what those are for. Uh, we, have, we just got a gold casket, $5 casket. We got a lucky chest. So we'll start off with our keys as per usual. And we get, okay, a uh, galaxy goodie bag. That's not too bad. Galaxy goodie bag, we will receive 15 Genesis coins. All right, and when it comes to our lucky chest, we are going to grab ourselves some nice stuff you can get from this, actually. And we're going to grab ourselves another $5 casket. That's not too bad at all. And from our gold casket number one, we are going to get ooh, a bunch of duplicates for our first one. And for our second one, hopefully, you know, we get something juiced up here. Head Baby Yoda, a Shadow Lord Protector, and Shadow Lord Boots. Okay, that's pretty good. The boots are going to give us an extra 9 drop rate, some decent stats. Obviously, we had a bunch of duplets here. The Shadow Lord Protector, I would assume, is better, right? Yeah, it's better all around for all attack styles. It's very nice. And then the Baby Yoda pet, not exactly sure. So, with the Baby Yoda pet down, we do have 187 drop rate, 105 double. We got plus two raid drop rate. And our damage boost is 30.46. And with the baby Yoda, changes to what? 38.46, 191, 105. I think that's better, right? Yeah, 187, 30. Oh yeah, our damage goes up by a decent amount and our drop rate goes up. Goes from 187 to what 191 and 30 to 38. That's pretty good. Well, we just end up doing another global. We've got ourselves two more fantastic keys. We got two seismic keys. So of course from our two fantastics, we get a superior minigun and some more Virtus Ice, which is no good. And then from our was it seismic? Here we go. We are gonna get ourselves two release boxes. Very nice. If we could get any of the weapons here, I think it'd be really good. Noble pieces look really nice. The weapons, the Salem Bow, Noble Staff, the Eminent Sword. All very nice. Infinite Prayer Overlord or Overload is very good as well. So let's see what we get for our first one. Well, we just got ourselves a $10 bond. That's not too bad. And from our second one, we are going to get ourselves a 
Looks to be sailing legs. No, we got a noble hood. Very good. Well, figure we take a break from the orbs and we get started on our slayer task. Well, that's going to be task completed and let's get ourselves another one. We're going to get ourselves 64 beginner boxes. Well, we've done a few more global bosses. We got seven more fantastic keys, so let's rip them open. And we don't get anything worth... Oh, we got the trio wings, actually. Okay, that actually might be interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be better than our resurgent, but let's have a look. Oh, that's actually depressing. They're not very good at all. But on top of that, we did just get an activity mystery box as well, which obviously nothing really interesting from these either. All right, we're going to get our new Slayer task, and it's going to be... Oh, right, she's not my Slayer Master. Duradel is. And our task will be... 55 PV unboxes. We also, we just got this cosmetic box. We're completing three Slayer tasks for our daily, and we're going to land ourselves the Halloween... Or the Skeleton Mask. 